tired. I'm so tired today. What's up guys? Welcome back to another Vlogmas video. We're doing a little daily vlog. That, that's pretty much it. I'm getting ready to go take a cycling class with my girl Ajazi. I'm currently having two cardio days a week. The first cardio day I just like walked on the incline for like 45 minutes but I wanted to do something for my other cardio day other than walking and Stairmaster. So I was like, you know, let's go take a class. Woo, well, I need to wake up. I got plenty of sleep, plenty of sleep. I have a consultation scheduled today for tattoo laser tattoo removal because, you know, there's just some tattoos that I want removed. I'm older. I'm a grown ass adult. I started getting tattoos on my 18th birthday and things just don't resonate anymore. I want to try out one tattoo that I want to get on my thigh. I've always hated it. It was just never done good. I want to find out how much it is to remove that. So I'm going to go in this place out here in Houston, find out the pricing and everything. And yeah, hopefully start that process. Just tattoo removal is so expensive. It'll be a Christmas gift to myself. And then after I see how that goes, then slowly I'll start removing some other tattoos. But my sleeve. I love my sleeve. That'll stay. These new cups from Amazon um, for like my coffee and my bone broth. They're so cute. I like these a lot. I'll link them if you want it. Let me show you the fit because it's cute. I have an obsession with the Skims Boyfriend Tees. I wear these things every day. This one's a long sleeve one. I actually don't really like how the sleeves are. Um, they're like kind of wide at the wrist. Hold on, let me see. I don't, I don't like how this is down here. So I just roll it up. And then these are the new Amplify, the colors. Ah! They're coming out, what, on the 16th? come out the 16th of this month these are like the contour ones These colors are just like so good i was feeling like christmasy so i got them in the red here's the green ones which i wore already zitty but like in the christmas spirit i feel like the color is like even richer in person code aftermath if you shop alpha leaves and then i have on the new balance 530s the 530s are my favorite now I have to eat my oats and then we are going to get on the road. It's 20 minutes away. Yeah, it's still like 20 minutes away. It's like always women. Like y'all probably got so much shit. I'm like, what the hell? Let's get either like some whatever PCOS or just like some body problem. Just freaking. This lady needs to be going through it. I've never known a female that's just. No, it's perfectly fine. It's just something. That was hard, hard, <laughs> but so good. Like dancing, like choreo type of one. So as somebody who ain't got much rhythm, like I don't know, just trying to keep your legs up and trying to dance at the same time. A lot of multitasking, okay? How was it? Funny <laughs> 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 inclination. <laughs> Literally the first five minutes, I'm like, Ajazi, what did you sign I me up for? That, that was like the hardest class I've ever taken. Like, uh, ma'am, why did you bring me here? Why did you bring me here? Literally the first little break we got, I had to look at her like, like girl. <laughs>
All right, so I had the consultation. They said it. Th they think it's gonna take me four to six or four to five sessions before the tattoo is gone, which is pretty freaking good. This is expensive. I think for three, three a package of three is like almost thirteen hundred, but they have like a ten percent discount going on right now because they go by size of your tattoo and they downsize mine just a little bit so mine would have been considered like an extra large but they priced me at a large would have been even more expensive than that so those ladies were they were super nice i told them to like send over pricing and everything to me like they're gonna send over my quote and all that and i think i'm just gonna move forward with it. it needs to be done and i've been wanting this done for a very very long time um she said the good thing is i don't have a lot of dark places in my tattoo is a lot of shading so it should be gone pretty quickly hopefully it only takes me four sessions okay that saved me some some money i didn't get the session done today because she said i recommend numbing cream because of the places on my thigh she said it's a very very sensitive area um so i'm going to wait for them to send me over the quote i'm going to order up some numbing cream and then we're gonna get these sessions started all right let's it's time to do this hair as much as I would like to keep these twists in, just in one, they're cute, and two, it's just been so convenient not having to touch my hair. They're just old. It's grown out at the roots like a little bit too much, and I need to wash my scalp because my psoriasis is, uh, yeah, it's, it's flaky. Too flaky, and it's not something I can wash through the twist. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I ain't got so distracted. It is so much later. Took out my hair, and then I got on the. I was on Facetime with my mom and my sister, and we were just chatting it up. Brush my hair out, put it up, start doing other stuff. Took a nap. It's late, and I think I want to do bantu knots. I always do flexi rods. I haven't done bantu knots in years. My shampoos are the Kristen Kristen S shampoos i have a clarifying one and then like a gentle one but because my psoriasis has been acting up i'm using my nizarol we're gonna need that to get in there and deep clean and then i'm going to deep condition with briogeo where's my favorite cut I thought you used it earlier. What you do with it? Fuck face. No, it ain't in here. <laughs> Get away from me. It has been a while since I've done some Bantu knots. The only products I use are a styling cream and a mousse, and then bobby pins to hold it in place. In my flexi rods, I do on wet hair. Bantu knots, I do on blown out hair. So, we must have blow this out. Now, I don't blow it out to where it's like bone straight, because then the, the rods are gonna come out like Thin, you know, I use some heat protectant, just the Tresemme. It's blown out. Now, I do remember I straighten the roots just slightly and keep the product like on the lighter side because obviously I just blown out my hair you don't want it to revert back so just a little at the root first I start with just a when I say a baby just a little bit of cream okay a little bit that might even be too much go in with just a baby amount of mousse and then we just twist literally just twist take a little product and smooth it on the ends 
as you twist it'll start to like ravel itself and then you just wrap it around you're literally just wrapping your hair also don't make it too tight at the root I gotta sleep in these and it'll get real uncomfortable why does this one keep sliding secure it with a bobby pin I mean some people don't have to secure their hair I do it will straight unravel Pin. All done. Wash my hands, finish my skincare, and then we're gonna go make some food. Dang, this one dried to my face. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. Dang, my eyes soaked up all of that moisture. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm gonna make myself a little chicken grilled cheese because for some reason I'm craving a grilled cheese. I already have five ounces of chicken here. That was like portioned out for my meals this week. So I'm just gonna warm this up. And this I've just been putting in a salad. Sourdough, always sourdough. So the thing is, I have no idea what I'm doing here <laughs> and what I'm about to mix up, but just, Rock with me. I don't have barbecue sauce because I wanted a barbecue chicken grilled cheese. Don't have barbecue sauce. So then I was like, okay, a buffalo. And I don't have buffalo sauce. So I'm just going to mix up some stuff and just I hope it's okay. Oh, get a little butter in my pan. Just a little, a little butter. When I say a little bit of butter, like tiny. Just a little bit of mayo. It's a hot sauce. A little Mike's hot honey. Got this like little Gouda package of cheese. I'm gonna jump my chicken in here. Put some cheese on it. off with the rest of the cheese. All right. Ooh, look at that. try this and hopefully it turned out good make sure I'm in focus I'd be looking all my videos back and I'd be out of focus the whole time I mean I mean you just have a craving for something and you hit that And I got my sleepy girl mocktail. Took my magnesium already. About to sit down and finish Air of Fire from the Throne of Glass series. I was gonna call it a wrap on the vlog, but I'm actually see you guys in the morning when I take this hair down so I can show you what my hair looks like. <laughs> I sip it tonight. Mmm. Okay, I'll see y'all in the morning. Good morning, let's take a Let's check out this hair and let's see what's going on under here. I actually slept pretty good and that's because I didn't put the, the knots too tight. If you put them too tight, your sleep is going to be miserable, okay? Um, so keep them loose so when you lay down, they at least can like push to the sides. Take all these damn bobby pins first. Use argon oil just on my hands while I unravel. Untwist it like the opposite direction, and then as you separate it, twist it back the way you twisted them up. 
Because I've been seeing people just like brush through their Bantu knots and then their hair just be like a frizz ball. So untwist it the opposite direction to loosen it up. Okay, this is where we're at. She's soft. She's bouncy. Ooh, my scalp is a little sore. I'm just rub some oil on my hands just to get a little extra shine. This is how much I separate it now, obviously. I mean, and so if I go in and separate it more, the bigger it's going to get. It'll also get a little frizzy too if you separate it too much, but I like to go into the bigger chunks and start to separate those and then they're just going to get better as the days go on. All right, that's the hair. Let's go to the gym.